Your brain is like a circuit switch. Once you believe you are something, you actually embody it. You embody that feeling. If you were, God forbid, in a coma, and you woke up, and you didn't really have a memory, and you were told that you used to be a Navy SEAL, and they want you back now when you're healthy, do you think you'd act differently and hold yourself differently, conduct yourself different, and have a different self-concept of who you are than if you were told you were a piano instructor? Being successful in life is all about having the proper belief system in who you are. Truly believing that you are something unique, that you are something special in that field. If you truly believe inside of you that you are one of the best actors in the world, you will be entirely different than if you're like, I hope I'm good. Your expressions will be totally different, your tone of voice. You'll talk in a more convincing fashion. You'll use your natural voice instead of a scripted one. You'll be more emphatic. You'll be more real, more relatable. Our brain is like a circuit. And so if we introduce it with the proper wiring, you're going to go straight to your target. If you're unsure about who you are, then your dreams, your goals, they will never become a reality. Everyone has mental doubts in life, internal conflicts even the most successful people that you look up to, but they don't live there. It's how you handle those negative thoughts in that exact moment and overwhelm them with positive action. And that comes with this utmost confidence in yourself that you can handle the situation. Trust in yourself that you are better than the moment. The great think differently. The, the greats see differently, right? The, the greats have a different worldview. The greats, they, they approach the game in a totally different way. So I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low. Because if you can get this, if you can get this, you can get any success you want in life. You can have anything you want in life if you can get this. The next time you give a low effort, right? You give it 70% or 50% or 30%. I want you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low. If, if, if your effort is low, you're probably not thinking about the opportunity. You're probably thinking about the obligation. And when you think about E.T., how you stay pumped up? E.T. is how you stay on fire. E.T., how you always driven? Even in the midst of trials and tribulations, even in the midst of your haters, when people try to break you and tear you down. E.T., how you stay strong? I keep thinking about the opportunity. Every single day, I'm thinking about the opportunity, and I'm not looking at this thing as an obligation. I'm not looking at this thing as something that I have to do, or that I'm forced to do, right? Something that somebody's making me do. Every time I wake up, I'm thinking, I'm alive, baby, this is the day. This is an opportunity. If you want what you've never had before, if you want to do what you've never done before, if you want to be what you've never been before, change your mentality. And I want you to see that effort goes up when you look, when you look at it as, I got an opportunity of a lifetime. But you should be excited about the fact that you have an opportunity. In order to achieve greatness, you have to go through a lot of pain. You definitely have setbacks, but in order to achieve that success, you have to push through. If you hit an oak tree a thousand times in a thousand different spots, what's gonna happen? Absolutely nothing. But if you hit an oak tree a thousand times in the exact same spot, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna bring it down. You're going to do the impossible. You are not only a special person created at a special time, you got something special inside of you. You have to believe that you can do something that nobody else has done. 
And somehow that concept has to become reality. You got greatness all inside of you, but your problem is you are a scaredy cat. You soft, and every time it get hard, you quit and you give up. And I'm telling you, if you would be willing to fight your way through it, if you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You got to fight your way through it. You got to fight the fear because guess what? Fear ain't bigger than you. If you're going to win the fight of your life, you can't be afraid to fight. But you're going to have some ups and you're going to have some downs. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can age you, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. At the end of your feelings is nothing, but at the end of every principle is a promise. Behind your little feelings, it might not be absolutely nothing at the end of your little feelings, but behind every principle is a promise. And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not at your goal right now, because you're just all about your feelings. You're all on your feelings. You don't feel like waking up. So who does? Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months, a whole year. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were, in fact, easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back, and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration. This is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. Live your life with passion. With some drive. Decide that you're going to push yourself. The last chapter to your life has not been written yet, and it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? This year, I will make this goal become a reality. I won't talk about it anymore. I can. I can. I can. I can.